Hello, I'm Dr. Deva Kalsa, and welcome to Cancer Treatment and Prevention in Dogs and Cats. And this is part four, thyroid function and cancer in dogs. I've been a holistic veterinarian for over 30 years. I'm a best-selling author, and I lecture internationally. And it's important for dog owners to understand how important their dog's thyroid function is relating to getting cancer and clearing up the cancer. The thyroid gland is located on your dog's trachea. It regulates his metabolism and how efficiently his organs work. It's the taskmaster of the body. It also communicates with other glands in the body like the adrenal and the pituitary, and it regulates hormones. When it's working well, your dog's body is working like a well-oiled machine. When a thyroid is not functioning optimally, it's sort of like having bums and drug addicts for body part workers. An underactive thyroid creates a sluggish immune system. Hypothyroid conditions have been shown in humans to contribute to cancer, and I see no reason why it wouldn't be the same with dogs. Studies on people like thyroid function and cancer risk, a prospective population study, show that low thyroid function is associated with breast and prostate cancer in people. Another published paper called Cancer and Thyroid Function found that people with low thyroid levels had tumors that grew wildly, while the tumors in people with good thyroid levels grew slowly. I'm going to tell you some of my own experiences with dogs who are hypothyroid and who had cancer so you can see how much of a difference it can make in their recovery. I often use something called double helix water, and I'll tell you about that in the following video, to treat pets with cancer. I had as a client a very careful and caring owner whose dog had a malignant melanoma in his mouth. She did everything she could, but she didn't do the thyroid test that I recommended for her to do. I didn't understand why things weren't working, and then I found out she hadn't taken a thyroid test on her dog. When she finally had the test done, her dog's thyroid was barely functioning. Now this dog's tumor grew wildly just like the study in humans. By now it was too late and he died. A different dog came in with a malignant melanoma in his mouth whose thyroid was just fine. He was given the double helix water and the entire tumor, which was bigger than a golf ball and a half and eating into his jawbone, was completely gone in two weeks. That's the difference a working thyroid can make, a big one. Dr. Barnes, who's an MD, in his book Hypothyroidism, The Unsuspected Illness, presents solid evidence suggesting a relationship between low thyroid and cancer. In my own work as part of a study I conducted for a pharmaceutical company on a natural treatment for cancer, I had to test the thyroid function of all the dogs who were accepted into the study. The vast majority of the dogs tested were hypothyroid. Some veterinarians will say that the illness of cancer causes the hypothyroid condition, and some veterinarians will say that the hypothyroid condition opened the doors to cancer. I personally believe that a low thyroid definitely opens the door for cancer. In fact, undetected hypothyroidism opens up the door for lots of diseases and infections, including cancer. Checking the thyroid requires a very simple blood test. Be sure to test the T4 and the free T4. These two readings will help to determine if your dog's thyroid is underactive. If you have a diagnosis of hypothyroidism, your veterinarian will want to prescribe supplemental thyroid medication. It's important to know that if the results are in the normal range, but right on the bottom part of the range, your dog is very likely hypothyroid. So in short, it's really important for your dog's health that his thyroid is working perfectly. And I want you to have healthier dogs and cats. Come visit me at my blog, dogandcatvitamins.com, to learn lots of other handy tips.